this evening. I give a special welcome to Dr. Malcolm and Mrs. Leslie Clark, who have joined us this evening. Dr. and Mrs. Clark were the first mayor and mayoress of the new borough following the local government reorganisations of 1974, some 15 years ago. Members, if you'd like to remove your jacket, you may do so. Thank you. Good evening, members. Before we begin, I need to go over the house keeping rules. There are no fire drills for this evening, so if the fire alarm sounds, please leave the building, find the nearest exit, and assemble in the Queen's Gardens at the front of the building. Please do not re-enter the building if you advised to do so. I'd like to remind members of protocols around speaking during this meeting. No member should speak until invited to do so by myself. If you wish to speak, please could I ask you to raise your hands high until you have been acknowledged. Thank you. Please. Also, would all members in the room use their microphones whenever they speak, as without them, anyone watching online will not be able to hear you. To use the microphones, please press the button at the front of the centre and invite to speak and wait a moment for the lights on your microphones to come on. Please remember to turn off your microphone once you have finished. Members, in the interest of managing the meeting, please do not approach anyone seated at the top table for advice without first gaining agreement from myself. Should you wish to do so, please raise your hand high. Please, I also ask at the end of the meeting to make sure you take your belongings and waste with you. And finally, some members have a related party transactions form on your desk. Please could you be completed and signed. Before you leave this evening, and it will be collected from your desk upon the closing of this meeting. Thank you. We now commence business for this evening. Turning to agenda, now items, members, item one, sorry, apologies. Turning to item now, agenda item now, members, and starting with agenda, do we have any apologies, please? We'll find it again there. Yes. Councillor Sylvia Diamond. Noted. Councillor Tag. Councillor Simon Jones. Simon Jones. Noted. The next agenda item is number two, declarations of any interest. Are there declarations of any interest from any members in offices in relation to any items of business contained with the agenda, please? That's brilliant. Agenda item three, minutes of the last meeting. Agenda item three, member, is your approved the minutes of the meeting held on the 10th of April 2024. Will you find those minutes on pages five to 12 of your main agenda? Can the minutes please be agreed? We agree. Thank you. <laughs> agenda item four, the election of mayor for 2024 to 2025. Members, the first substantive item of business is to elect a mayor for the coming council year. I've been made aware of one nomination, Councillor Barry Panther. So could please someone move the recommendation and nomination for Councillor Panther, please? And Councillor. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Is that seconded? Which it is. Councillor Tag, are you to second it? I am, but I think Councillor Northcott wants to send you with. Okay, um, Councillor Northcott. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'm delighted to propose uh, Councillor Barry Panter the position of Mayor of Newcastle under Lyme for the forthcoming municipal year. Mr. Mayor, I first met Councillor Panter when he was the parish councillor for Maidley Parish Council back in 2004. Further on, he was eventually elected to represent the ward of Loggerheads and Whitmore previously, because it's a two councillor ward. And subsequently, Boggerheads, Ashley, Muggleston, Knight, and Hales. Now, since then, I have watched him grow in confidence from his work within his ward and as a community member as a borough councillor. Barry has a keen interest in dementia and the work of those who care for those who fundraise and promote the pro profile of dementia awareness in the community and beyond. Dementia, as we all know, faces the life choices that can be very difficult for both those that suffer from the disease and the challenges of dementia for families and friends to accept. Barry has played an active role in this, and I know that he's always been uh, an active participant of the groups that he supports in trying to support those that have called upon him for help and assistance. 
Well, I've been involved at the council, Barry has taken a keen interest in conservation and has served on call. He has also served on audit and standards planning and health and wellbeing scrutiny committees as council. Over time in his office, he's proved to be a reliable attendee on all the committees that he's served and has one, if not the highest personal attendance figures at this very council, which clearly shows his keenness, reliability and commitments towards his role at council something which I'm sure will extend to the role of mayor if elected this evening. In 2019, Councillor Panto was appointed to the role of Armed Forces Community Champion and is the point of contact with the council for all issues relating to the Armed Forces Covenant. The role tied nicely to his former experience, serving in the Royal Air Force, and I know this is a role that he has relished since his appointment and has assisted those in need when asked. <laughs> This experience will stand him in good stead for his future aspirations. Councillor Panther has just completed an excellent municipal year in his 850th anniversary of his historic Royal Charter as Deputy Mayor supporting yourself, Mr Mayor, on many of the engagements representing and promoting the profile of the ancient and loyal borough of Newcastle and the line. I have no doubt whatsoever that you will make an excellent Mayor and continue to promote the work that you've built over the last for you, Mr. Chairman. He has been available and happy to deputise for you in attending civic functions and events when you haven't been available. This is facilitated by him preparing for the office of mayor should he be successful this evening. The Counter Panther is elected mayor by this council as first citizen of the borough. Not only would he be keen to represent the borough in his civic capacity, but he also wished to be hosting fundraising events to raise money for his chosen charities during his period of office something that is very close to his heart. I hereby nominate and propose Council Panther as Mayor for Newcastle on the line for this municipal year, 2024-2025, to by soon. Thank you, Councillor Northart. Councillor Tag. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Mr Mayor. Yes, I'd like to second uh, the nomination of Barry Panther and uh, obviously echo everything that's been said by uh, my colleague, Councillor Northcott. And uh, obviously, it won't just be Barry that will, will take up a position. Obviously, his good wife will be there as Beatrice. So I hope they enjoy their year as mayor and, and savour it for, for what it will be, which will be a great occasion for them and for us all. Thank you. Thank you. Members, as Councillor Panson is the only nominee, I will move to the vote. All those in favour? All those against? Any abstentions? That's carried. Thank you. Thank you, members. Councillor Barry Panter is therefore formally elected as a mayor of the borough of Newcastle under line for the municipal year of 2024 to 2025. A round of applause, please. I think we're allowed to sit down. Yes, yes. I'm 
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My first duty as your new mayor is to make my declaration of acceptance of this office. I am Barry Grant, having been elected to the office of mayor for the borough of Newcastle under nine. If I declare that I take the said office upon myself, will you be and faithfully fulfil the duties thereof according to the best of my judgment and ability? I undertake to observe the code as to the conduct which is expected of members of the borough council of Newcastle under nine in the performance of my functions in that office. <laughs> Members, the next item of business on the agenda is to appoint a deputy mayor for the forthcoming municipal year. I've been made aware of two nominations. They are Councillor Robert Bentley Smith and Councillor John Williams. Could someone please remove the nomination for Councillor Bentley Smith? Councillor Bart. Yeah. Yeah. And is that uh, seconded? Councillor Barker, thank you. Yeah, Barker, uh, are you saying that you are nominating? I'm saying this. Yes, yeah, I am. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. And uh, seconded by Councillor Adcock. You weren't, Councillor. Yes, you can. Okay. Thank you. Um, it's my pleasure to accept the nomination of my uh, my friend and colleague, uh, Councillor Rob Bentley Smith, to the position of Deputy Mayor for the forthcoming uh, municipal year. Since since joining the council, uh, I've seen uh, Councillor Bentley Smith excel in a number of roles on this council. Um, he also chairs Paris Council. I've seen him standing up for residents on the Wallace Four Years Committee. We've done so much work together over that, and I've always seen him take into account residents' views uh, and work with others on the committee to achieve change and also now as chair of the Wallace Borey Committee of Inquiry. In the time I've worked with him, I've always found him very professional, incredibly level-headed, and willing to take into account all views when making decisions. He has a great wealth of experience in working with the community in Newcastle, both in and out of his political life, and I'm sure he will do a fantastic job as our Deputy Mayor, and I'm very happy to second his nomination. Thank you. <laughs> Any other nominations? So can someone please move the nomination for Councillor John Williams? Councillor David Jones. Thank you, uh, Mr Mayor, and it's a pleasure to see you up there. Um, it's a real pleasure to support Councillor Williams for the role of Deputy Mayor. Um, we have moved him and nominated him previously for this role, and I went into quite detail then, so I won't go again. But what I will say is that John is the second longest serving councillor in this chamber after his wife Jill with a service of 29 years. 29 uninterrupted years as a councillor, during which he served as a cabinet member, a group leader, and served on pretty much every single committee of this council. John has served this council and borough with honesty and integrity. I'm proud to call John a friend. And I know it's an okay. honour that all of us get to share. I call upon all councillors to support this nomination, to bestow this honour upon him in recognition of his long and honourable service to this borough. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Jones. Is that seconded? Councillor Fox Hewitt. Support me second up, uh, Mr. Mayor. Are there any other nominations? Sorry, I could work. <clears throat> yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I'm too delighted to second the uh, nomination to my good friend, uh, John Williams. As has been said, John's given decades of service to his residents and the communities at this point. 
be held many very wrongs within council, but he's yet to have the privilege of being first citizen of the borough. So I hope uh, my colleagues uh, across the chamber do support this uh, nomination. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Foxy. Are there any other nominations? No? No. Thank you. Councillor Robert Batney Smith and Councillor John Williams have now both been formally nominated for the position of Deputy Mayor for the new civic year. I will now move to the vote. I will take the candidates in Africa. Right. Call the name vote, please, Mr. Mayor. Right, so we get to the region. Thank you. Thank you. Each elected member now has one vote and may vote for either Councillor Bentley Smith or for Councillor Williams, or they may have stayed if they wish. At the end of this process, the person with the highest number of votes cast in his or her favour will be the successful candidate <coughs> and elected. We now go to the name vote and I hand that to our legal representative. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, yeah, usual uh, routine for an name vote, please. Um, I will go through each um, councillor in alphabetical order. And then I would um, ask you to say whether you are voting for Councillor Bentley Smith, perhaps just say Bentley Smith, <laughs> or Williams, please simplify a little bit. Um, so I'll start with um, Councillor Rupert Adcock. Bentley Smith. Uh, Councillor David Allport. Uh, Councillor John Williams. Councillor Lillian Barker. Betty Smith. Um, Councillor Susan Eastman. Abstain. Um, Councillor Robert Betty Smith. Betty Smith. Councillor Wendy Brocky. Councillor John Williams. Councillor Jacqueline Brown. Councillor Jacqueline Brown. Councillor John Williams. Thank you. <laughs> Councillor Amy Bryant. That is said. Councillor Jill Bernard Faulkner. Councillor Bentley Smith. Councillor Nicholas Christ. Uh, Bentley Smith. <laughs> um, Councillor Sylvia Diamond is absent. <laughs> Councillor uh, Joel uh, Edgington Bucket. Councillor John Williams. Councillor Andy Fear. Councillor Bentley Smith. Councillor <laughs> Andrew Fox Hewitt. Councillor John Williams. Councillor Richard Gorton. Councillor John Williams. Councillor David Grocock. Councillor John Williams. Councillor Jill Beeson. Councillor Bentley Smith. Councillor Mark Holland. Councillor Bentley Smith. Councillor David Hutchinson. Councillor Bentley Smith. Councillor Trevor Johnson. Bentley Smith. Councillor Dave Jones. Councillor John Williams. <coughs> Councillor Simon Jones is absent. Councillor Annabelle Morley. Councillor John Williams. <coughs> Councillor Rebecca Lewis. Councillor John Williams. Councillor, Councillor Robert Moss. Councillor John Williams. Councillor Paul North. Bob. Councillor Robert Bentley Smith. Councillor Barry Hunter. Councillor Robert Bentley Smith. Councillor Andrew Parker. Councillor Bentley Smith. Councillor Philip Reese. Councillor John Williams. <coughs> Councillor Leslie Richards. Councillor John Williams. Councillor Craig Skelding. 
Councillor Berkeley Smith. Councillor Mike Stubbs. Councillor John Lynch. Councillor Stephen Sweeney. Councillor Betty Smith. Councillor John Tang. Councillor Betty Smith. Councillor Simon Tang. Councillor Betty Smith. Councillor Jill Waring. Councillor Betty Smith. Councillor Paul Waring. Councillor Betty Smith. Councillor Joe Wielden. Councillor Betty Smith. Councillor Gary White. Councillor Betty Smith. Councillor Simon White. Councillor Betty Smith. Councillor Ian Wilkes. Councillor Betty Smith. Thank you, Councillor Jill Williams. <laughs> Councillor John Williams. Thank you, Councillor John Williams. Councillor John Williams. <laughs> 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 and finally, <laughs> and finally <laughs> one last go, <laughs> Councillor Ruth Wright. Thank you, members. The rules are up until uh, 24 in favour of Councillor Robert Becky Smith, 17 in favour of Councillor John Williams, mm -hmm. with one abstention. I therefore declare that Robert Bentley Smith will be appointed as Deputy Mayor for the next municipal year. I congratulate him and looking forward to working with him. I now invite Councillor Robert Lee Smith to make his declaration of acceptance of office. I, Robert Bentley Smith, having been elected to the office of Deputy Mayor for the Borough of Newcastle under Lyme, hereby declare that I take the said office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfil the duties thereof according to the best of my judgment and ability. Thank you. And so, Becky Smith, would you like to say a few words? <clears throat> Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Yes, I would like to say uh, just a few words. Some months ago, Lillian Barker, MBE, asked if she could propose me for election as your Deputy Mayor. I've honoured that request. Now, of course, I'm not only honoured, but I'm absolutely delighted in equal measure to have become your Deputy Mayor. Neither I, nor just as importantly, Judy, my wife, have any reservations about my accepting the role, and Judy intends to be active and fully supportive by my side. In accordance with the oath I've just taken, you have my word, Mr. Mayor, that I will do my best to support you and discharge my own role as Deputy Mayor of this loyal and ancient borough with dignity, pride, but also with an element of humility, conscious that I follow in the footsteps of others, Bearing in mind, of course, that we've been around for about 851 years. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine Bradley Smith. Now come to item six on the agenda that requires me to announce my appointments for the forthcoming year. The first appointment I wish to announce is that of a consort. That I, Barry Bantner, hereby did appoint my wife Beatrice Panter to be the mayor for the next municipal year. 
next appointment I wish to make is that of my High Council. And the way the Council Valley planned it. Thank you. Uh, the next one is that of my High Council. And I, Councillor Valley Bander, hereby appoint Mr. David Whitmore as my High Council for the next municipal year. My next appointment is that of my chaplain. And I, Councillor. Oh, yes, sorry. My next appointment is that of my uh, cadet. And I, uh, Councillor Valley Bander, hereby appoint appoint Cadet Flight Sergeant Will Halford with my cadet for the next municipal year. The next appointment is that of my chaplain. Now I cancel a rally panda here by appoint the Reverend Kim Watson to be my chaplain for the next municipal year. The final point to be made is that of the Mace Fairers. The Night Council of Valley Panda hereby appoint Miss Jenny Otter and Mr. Glenn Martin James to be my Mace Fairers for the next municipal year. Uh, item 7 provides me the opportunity to address you on my hopes and my aspirations for my year of office. Firstly, I would like to thank this council for electing me as mayor for the borough of Heathcott and the line. I feel very honoured and will commit to carry out my duty to the best of my ability in a fighting professional manner, as you would expect. The role of mayor is vital to the borough's heritage, and I promise to do my utmost this next year to make the borough proud of our heritage and to put Newcastle line firmly on the map. I have many ideas for charity events that I can hold to raise money for my chosen charities, and I can announce now. My two chosen chaps that are going to be Headway North Staffordshire and the Salvation Army. The role of mayor is an ambassadorial role, promoting the borough and throughout Staffordshire wide and further afield, with importantly supporting the residents of our loyal and ancient borough by recognising the work they do in so many different ways. I would now like to personally thank our former mayor, Councillor Simon Mike, for Count carrying out his duty diligently and with great enthusiasm. I will also say that Councillor White has been a very good tutor to me, been very generous in what he has allowed me to do, and very supportive in his advice, and especially his uh, advice about uh, rafts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again, Councillor White. It's been a pleasure to work under you. We will now move to item eight of the agenda, which is a vote uh, to cut the thanks to the John Mayor, Mayor and Consort. I want now to ask Simon Tag if you would propose a vote of thanks to your time, Mayor, Mayor and Consort. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, and congratulations on your appointment and also the, the appointments of the Mayor's May you have a great year. Yes, really, I'm really pleased to do the vote of thanks to uh, not only Simon White, who our outgoing mayor, but also his consort, Councillor Gary White, Mayor's Tanya Morgan, and also High Constable Peter Whalen, Mayor's Cadet Abigail Pye, Chaplain Peter Nesbitt, and also to uh, the driver, Josh, because uh, every time I was out on the event, I saw Josh not only driving, but also taking photos, the official photographer for the year, I think. And every time he was there, um, really well done, well hard work, Josh. And I think you've got another role with, with the, the current mayor now uh, to keep you busy as well. But I think the year has been an amazing year for the borough. Uh, we've had our 850 anniversary. And Simon has been, and his um, consort and, and also mayor has been at the centre of all of that. Uh, 141 engagements, over £30,000 for charities. And as I say, not only the 850 celebration, but all of the things that happened around the forum, which the mayor was involved in. We're also on services day and also the Halloween ball in October. Who can forget that? Who attended it as well, which was, was a wonderful event and a good fundraising event as well. And also what a lot of people won't know is during this year, the first admission of female burgesses in the borough took place this year and Simon's enrolled uh, many every time we've had a council meeting we seem to have had a, a row of ladies coming in to be enrolled as burgesses uh, which um, is the right thing to do and was the right thing for burgesses to do and Simon has, has sort of led that and uh, uh, we now have uh, female burgesses in the borough for the first time and really good of course the mayor just doesn't do events within our borough 
He also is, is a representative from around the for, for events around Staffordshire, also around the region and also nationwide as well, uh, such as attending the World Garden Party. Sam has done that with his usual panache. And I think, uh, as we, we do know, it's the third time Simon has been mayor. And if you would see at the beginning of the meeting, we did have a roll call of, of the mayor since 1974, because we are in at the 50th year of the formation of the wider Borough Council. And I do believe we have the, the first mayor of Borough here today during that um, period. So welcome to you and your mayor, as I probably believe at the time. Um, as you have seen, the number of mayors that we had go to a long roll of mayors that dates even further back than 74 for the borough right back into the middle ages and i know simon is is a great follower of the history of the borough and i think he's proud to be proud to be mayor uh, for the third time but particularly in our 850 years and i'd just like to my thanks i I've, I've shadowed him on a lot of events across the 850 and he's really flown the flag for this borough and then we really worked him up to the last minutes as well yesterday afternoon. He's still doing events, including burying time capsule, giving out recognition certificates. And I forgot what you're doing in the afternoon, but you went off to do an event in the afternoon as well. So thank you to Simon, Gary, Tanya and the team. And, uh, you know, uh, we'll you're well done. Thank you. Item 9 on our agenda is a response to the vote of thanks to the retiring mayor and consort. Councillor Simon White, would you like to make your response, please? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Oh, it's not going to be a long one, guys, so it's going to be very, very quickly. I just want to give some stuff down. Can I use this one on your Yes, yeah. yeah, sure. Thank you. Sorry to listen. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It's been a great honour to have been the mayor of the Royal Nation Borough during the 850th anniversary of the year. During this time, I visited all skills that took place in the 850 competition, and also handed across an anniversary plate marking the occasion. There were in excess of 140 events over the year, so it was a busy year, but a very successful one. In relation to fundraising, it's very important events of the mayoral year, and my charity ball in October was the main fundraiser, in which total across the year, I have raised just an excess of 30,000 pounds which will be distributed across both of my main charities and also a number of small charities that have requested support. I would like to thank everybody who supported these events during my year. Going to swiftly thank you, those around me and my Mayor, S. Tanya Morgan, has been to many of these events with me and has been at my side throughout most of the year. I would like to sincerely thank her for all her support and ask her to come forward to accept these gifts, please. Congratulations, everyone. Thanks for having me. I would also like to thank my consort, Gary White, who has been with me at major events during this year. Can I ask Gary White to come forward, please? I give the, uh, Gary the badges, yeah. I'll just leave those to Barry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm nominated Peter Whalen to be my high constable as a role which is for diligence. Unfortunately, Peter is away on a family commitment, so I'm going to thank him separately. Thank you, Peter, wherever you are. Uh, moving to the civic department of the council, uh, this is led by Jeff Durham, who carries out a lot of the background work. I'd like to thank Jeff and give him this small gesture. Thank you, Jeff, for all your hard work and diligence. Uh, Josh has been the mayor's chauffeur the most of the year and undertaken the unofficial role of photographer. Uh, very ably, thank you, Josh, for all your help. Would you like to come forward?
believe. There are two mace bearers who have been at my side during the major civic events and council meetings. So again, please accept my small gift to Glenn Martin, James and Jenny. So we'll do ladies first. Of course. <laughs> Thanks, a pleasure. Finally, my chaplain from St Giles has once again. Let's rewind. We'll get there in the end. Thank you. Uh, finally, my chaplain from St Giles has once again been Peter Nesbitt, who has carried out with this role for me twice during my time in the mayor. And again, a small gift for Peter. Is Peter here? Thank you very much. Thank you. And I think we've found a couple. We've got Peter. Sure, we've given you Peter, haven't we? Peter. Got two base bearers. Finally, my chaplain doing that. That's actually fine. I would now uh, forget Peter Shaw because we haven't got you written down, Peter. So I do apologise. Also, my it's my high sergeant Peter who's been diligent for the past few years. Thank you very much for all your support and I hope you go to look after our next now. I now just wish to wish the new elected uh, councillor and new mayor Barry Panther all the very best and very successful year. And as he knows that if he needs any advice or support, I'm here for you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. White. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Thank Councillor White. I am now pleased to presenting you and Councillor Gary White and Mr. Tandy Morgan with your respective badges of office. Councillor Simon White. Thank you. Councillor Gary White, without whom Sir Simon White would not have had the support and uh, that he gets so richly deserved. Thank you. Last but not least, to Ms. Tanya Morgan with, uh, for being an excellent mayoress and an example to us all. The can I just actually put those flowers into um, it's to the chaplains who will be wise? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Members, we now move on to the agenda item 10, where the leader will now appoint his deputy leader and the cabinet with portfolios. I'm in some time. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I haven't got any flowers and I've got no medals, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> but um, I, I do point uh, my cabinet and uh, definitely this year that all I give them is hard work to do on behalf of the people of the borough in their positions. So um, to appoint a, a deputy leader, I appoint uh, Councillor Stephen Sweeney uh, uh, and reappoint him as deputy leader of the council. Yeah, yeah. 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 
And I would like to reappoint the Cabinet as previously, that's Councillor Jill Heeson, uh, Councillor David Hutchinson, uh, Councillor Andy Fear, Councillor Craig Scaldin, uh, Councillor Stephen Sweeney as a portfolio as well, and also myself to create these uh, six portfolio holders as previously. Uh, so I move them, Mr. Thank you, Councillor Tag. Members, we now the next item on the agenda is to appoint the members, chairs, and vice chairs of committees. The report can be found on pages 13 to 8, 28 of your agenda. The appendix has been tabled this evening. With regard to appointments to committees, please can these nomination committees be agreed? Agreed, Mr. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The appointments of chairs and vice chairs, members, I propose to take the appointments of chairs and vice chairs and block. Are all those who favour of conserving on the knees being appointed? Okay. Any against? <laughs> all those in favour of the Labour nominees be appointed? All those against? <laughs> Thank you. Members of chair and vice chair points will be taken by the members in your supplementary agenda. It is also to notify the council of any change that needs to be made to the representatives of external organisations for which one asks the leader, Councillor Simon Tag, to respond. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor. I'm going to move the, the nominations as set out. Of course, outside bodies are, are where we will uh, represent the council externally. And we made the decision a, a couple of years ago to appoint the four year term 22 to 26. Uh, there are no changes because of the uh, uh, people leading positions or whatever, so I move those out on, on mass, please. Uh, Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Yes, and uh, one item I forgot to announce, ladies and gentlemen, please forgive me for this, is the result of the, uh, the appointments to committees. There have been 24 from the Conservative vote and 17 in the Labour. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I now understand that Councillor Dave Jones wishes to nominate members to six of the external organisations. A copy of the Labour Group's nomination to external organisations has been tabled this evening. And I will first ask Councillor Tag to speak and then Councillor Jones. Councillor Tag? I've already spoken, so. Yeah. Councillor Jones. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, before us tonight is a slate of nominations that the Labour Group would like to make to some of the external organisations. But just very briefly, I'll outline the reasoning behind that. I'm quite happy that we would take this as an amendment and therefore a block vote on this and then move. Um, so we have nominated Councillor Brokoff, who has a long-standing record of working with Aspire in the community for the Aspire Board. We have nominated Councillor Brocky, one of the Town Board Councillors, who is well known and respected by the Town Business Community for the Business Improvement District. We're pretty sure that we have two reps based on the paperwork for the Campaign for Rural England, and there was only one rep for the previous few years. So we would like to nominate Councillor Lewis as the second rep. Um, we have nominated Councillor Fox Hewitt for Staffordshire Police Fire and Crime Panel. Councillor Fox Hewitt's the son of a former Staffordshire Police Officer and has spent 22 years as a firefighter in Staffordshire and across Cheshire. So we've nominated Councillor Brown for the Silk Hill spot on the Wally's Quarry Liaison Committee. Councillor Brown is well respected by the community with a track record of delivering to residents. And finally, we've nominated Councillor Stubbs or Flight Lieutenant Stubbs to the um, North Staffordshire Cadets Association. Councillor Stubbs was a former Air Cadet leader in North Staffordshire. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Councillor Jones. Are there any other members that wish to speak on this matter? Uh, Councillor Tech, would you like to sum up, please? Thank you, uh, and thank you for the explanation from, from Councillor Jones. I think, just to clarify, uh, we, 
the bid, for example, uh, appointment and also the Staffordshire Police and Crime Panel appointments are cabinet member appointments. So I've already appointed previously just the cabinet members that will take those positions. It clearly says that in the agenda. So we will not So, we <laughs> so will. So it doesn't say this, right? Yeah, please. Okay. Um, and then also um, the other ones we will be opposing <laughs> other than uh, the second member of uh, the campaign for all England. And we're quite willing to accept the council really. So whether you want to um do a separate sort of vote for that one or take the others on on group. Yeah. Thank you, Catherine. We'll now move to a vote on the Labour nomination. We'll now vote uh, on the Labour Group's nominations, but we will take the matter of Councillor Lewis first. All those in favour of Councillor Lewis. Are there any against? I think that's one to be carried. Thank you, Councillor mm -hmm. Lewis. So now that uh, the remainder of these will be oh, taken in block. All those in favour? Sorry, sorry. Uh, we now move to the vote on the Labour Group's nomination to external organisations. These will be taken on a vote en bloc. All those in favour, please. All those against? Any abstentions? Any gentlemen, the motion is lost. Therefore, the list attached to your agenda is confirmed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Members, agenda item of 30, 1230 relates to urgent business and confidential business. I have no urgent or confidential business that needs to be considered this evening. Therefore, that concludes the business for this meeting, and I therefore declare the meeting closed. Just a quick advisory note for those of you who have accepted my invitation to my civic reception. I received a notification from the university that roadworks will be ongoing on the campus there this evening. Access to the Hill Hall is still available, however, and there will be a diversion in place once you arrive at the knee roundabout at the bottom of the hill for the main entrance. Just to direct you to turn right around the ring route to reach the hall, parking is not affected. Also, if you are arriving from the Hill Village entrance, that will not be affected at all. For those who are not joining, joining me at my several exception in here, may I wish you a safe journey home and I hope that everyone enjoys the remainder of their evening. Thank you. All rise.